Yo, what's up guys? It's Hi Homie and we're really releasing a video that's already came out because YouTube demonetized it cuz YouTube loves fucking their creators. They just take me, they bend me over, they lick it up and they just fuck me every day. All right guys, well I'm going to give YouTube what they finally want. A full meltdown. And I'm going to give it for all you guys too and it's going to be here soon. First I gotta get some real shit going on. All right, we gotta we gotta get this shit going, um, because uh, I am sick of cannabis users being discriminated against, which is going on all the time. If you're a cannabis user, again, you know it, you've seen it, you've had to experience it, and guess what? Nobody's talking to you about it. Nobody's saying shit about it. Nobody's doing anything about it. So I'm that one guy. I'm the one guy who's going to stand up for you. I cussed, but don't worry. We're going to try to hold that back. It's going to be nothing but family-friendly content that YouTube loves to push because they love to push a few things. Drinking, sex, any other drug but cannabis. Any drug. Any drug. We can find it all. So, yeah, I'm going to show you something real quick. Uh, this is the video I made. Um... Yeah, this is what's going on in this shit. Um, here, we got a list. Um, there's just one more thing I want to put up before we go any further. My great uncle. There I am. Little little freaking 17-year-old dude chilling out. 18, I'm about to graduate um, high school. Um, unfortunately, this man didn't get a CB graduate. This man died before graduation. You can see how skinny he is. You can see how frail he is. You can see how small he is. Look at that. That is a man who's terminally ill, who's getting ready to die, who is coming to terms with that shit. And what does he do on his free time? Holy crap, he chooses to smoke weed. He chooses to just enjoy a little bit of cannabis on his time. And, uh, yep. Here, let me fix that a little bit so we can get the full face in there. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is tell you why my video and what I talked about in the video to get myself demonetized, I guess. So, the first thing I did is telling people how horrible the thing that I was doing was. You know, I said, hey, because again, in every video, you have to say it. You have to say what you're doing you don't condone even if you do condone it even if you do you gotta say you don't because guess what you don't want to teach people this hey there's drinking videos that i do and i'm gonna link it in this video this video was also made with a video where people took a hundred sips of freaking alcohol they, they took more than a hundred and completely monetized monetized means gets pushed to all audience over the age of 13 and above all right, so that's what it means if you guys don't know, and a lot of content falls under that. Sex content falls under it. I watch many, many, many twerking videos for another thing that I have going on because I like to see the discrimination of just people and how the internet is just okay with it, how we all are just okay with it. But guys, the biggest, most important thing, the reason why I made I Homie was for this man right here and his rights before he was dead, all right? So this is the only thing. If you're a medical cannabis smoker, if you're a cannabis smoker, if you smoke any kind of weed, then I'm here to fight for you guys. And if you don't want to subscribe to somebody who's trying to help you, who's trying to get shit passed for you, who's trying to get shit actually done, who's trying to talk about the real shit that's actually going on, the stuff that actually matters, like people being able to afford housing, like people being able to have access to their own stuff, and like the privatization of these companies, then yeah. Then here's where it gets off. I talk about that five idiots taking the shots. We've, we've gone over that. We talk about this is all the stuff. Probably the joint got me demonetized. Smoking the single joint. Smoking the single freaking toke of the joint. Got me demonetized off of YouTube. Which got me age restricted. But hey. 
we can pull up, and I will pull up in another video that I'll have included in this video at the end if enough people like it. And, you know, I got to give the people what they want. I got to give it to you guys. Yep. What do I do? I talk about the people that turn to cannabis with various medical conditions. Again, I say I'm not a medical professional. I say I'm not here for medical. But you cannot lie with the fact that there's multiple, multiple different states. 36 states. Maybe less, maybe more. Give or take five. I don't freaking know. That have legalized cannabis for medical uses. Cannabis is a medical plant recognized in the state that I live in. What do I else do I talk about? How I blocked out all the smoking. I, in this video, it's going to be completely monetized, and I'll keep fighting for it to be monetized, and I'll keep putting it up so it's monetized. I will take out every single use of the F word if I have to. I'll take out every single use of every word because this is some stuff that needs to be talked about, and the biggest weed content creators... Don't talk about it. Why? Because they don't care. And I'm talking to the biggest ones. Dope is Yola, Eric Khan, Matias 710. So many people choose to ignore this shit. Fucking Mr. THC, for goddamn sake. Mr. THC is like more Mr. Joke as fuck. Because that shit's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. And that man's not for cannabis users. He's just for his own monetary gain. All right, I smoked a single joint in the video, one joint. I discussed I lived in a completely legal state, stating what I was doing in my state was legal in the video. What else am I doing? What else? What else, what, what? What possible atrocity that could I have done that would have gotten me demonetized off of YouTube and onto a platform for 18 and up? When 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 again, I freaking. I told everybody the issues. I told every single person what I was doing and that they should not do it. Does that mean I agreed with it? Not at all. Not even a single bit. I asked why I'm censored. Because I've seen it. There's multiple videos of people smoking ten times the amount of cannabis that I do. Of people smoking and showing and smoking and doing and doing a ton. Doing just so much. And what and what did I talk about? I talked about how people are discriminated in occupations on on cannabis because again, it is a fact that if you're an over the road truck driver, you cannot smoke cannabis. You have to take a test from the state. They can give you a cannabis piss screening at any time that they want, and if you piss hot, that sucks. You can't be a truck driver anymore. Even if you never smoke cannabis on the clock, if you only smoke cannabis off the clock for your medical needs. All right? Let's talk about the other stuff. I asked why nobody in the cannabis community hasn't talked about this clear and evident discrimination. This is something that all of them choose to ignore. Guys, if you actually care, if you want to see stuff change, instead of seeing these freaking clowns walk around and say, Oh, I love cannabis, but I'm not going to do anything for the people who smoke it because I just want to make money. You, you got it, dude. That's it. You did it! Wow, you're really doing a lot for the cannabis scene, man! You're helping a ton of people! Holy shit! You should be a freaking awarded for your watch time, man! That's why I could care less. Because what I'm talking about is real stuff that's going on every day that we all have to deal with. Guys, do you grow cannabis at your house? If you rent a place, can you grow cannabis? If you put... 36 plants in your place and your landlord comes by. Would they be chill with that? Would you have the right to be able to grow your own medicine and be able to be chill with it? Let's just keep going on the list. I asked why nobody's talking. Not a single weed tuber. Uh, some of them glance over. They glaze it. They say, oh, weed's expensive in some places. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really is. Why would you just buy THCA? Hey, luckily enough, I have my own THCA brand that you can buy. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, guys. 
What else did I, what, what else could I have done to get my shit demonetized from YouTube that so many other creators can get just completely monetized with? What is it? What, what could I have been doing? What, what did I do? What? Well, well, I warn medical smokers about buying from corporations that have proven and shown to put weird chemicals and pesticides in their cannabis who have shown and proven to have bud rot in their cannabis. Like, bro, you can look all of this stuff up. It's not hard. Google it. You freaking Neanderthals. I'm sorry. I love the people who watch me. I love... Hey, if you found this video and it touched you, subscribe, share, and like. Because these are things that people don't talk about, man. These are people things that they, they, they're not saying, man. Why aren't they saying it? Why? What else do I talk about? I talked about the clear uh, money issues that affect terminal people. You know what? People that are on their deathbeds who have gotten, you know, hey, you're not going to be able to work anymore because you have cancer. You're not going to be able to work anymore because you have this disease. You can't work at all because you're autistic. Like, what? Like, I've talked about that. Like, these people have clear money issues. And what did the medical cannabis scene do? Price their cannabis aggressively to hurt these people that are in low-income situations, that have had hard things, and they don't do anything to help. But what? Give you 10% off your entire purchase. Wow! They're really helping you out. Uh, what, whoa, 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 what else of the, the terrible things I could have talked about to get my video demonetized. Let's keep going, man. Oh, I talked about the obvious monopolies in the cannabis industry. Guys, look at states like Florida. Look at states like Missouri. Look at states like freaking Ohio right now, man. Nobody wants to be in Ohio, bro. And then in Michigan, that's not even freaking 20 minutes away, 30 minutes. Doesn't it connect? Isn't there lakes that connect them? I don't even know, guys. But you can buy an ounce. Over there for $25. Your regular ounce in Ohio is going to be going for $150 to $300, just like it is in Missouri. And that stuff's not good at all. That stuff's low tier, low quality, low effort, and shit. All right, what else? What else could I possibly have done to make my video demonetized? And shown to only 18 and up when we can watch people drink for 24 hours, bro. And anybody can watch that. We can watch, we can watch booties fly out. We can see some booty holes. But what did I show? I'm going to show you in this video. You're going to see the egregious acts that I pull and the terrible shit that I do. You're going to see all of that. Every single little bit of it. And you can watch the demonetized version if you're signed into YouTube, guys. Look at that. Wow! Wow! Holy shit. What else do I do? I talk about how if you grow weed, you can grow enough to satisfy your need. And even in some states, you can grow enough. If you do it legally, like I say, legally, you can grow enough to make yourself a nice little piece of side income. And I challenge and I tell anybody in the cannabis industry to try to disprove any of my things. The only wrong fact I have in this whole video about this weed industry is Oklahoma isn't a med and a rec state. It's just a medical state. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Uh, freak, what else did I do? Oh, I talked about my personal story with my great uncle having HIV and needing cannabis because, again, if you look at the dude, if you look at the man right there, he's 90 fucking pounds! 90 pounds! If you look at it, look. Oh, it, what, what did he say? Oh, I just need it because it makes me hungry. And I said, fuck yes. Uncle Mike, if you need weed, I don't care if it's illegal. I'm a kid. What's that going to do to me? What's that going to do? I'm going to be slapped with a little, hey, you're a kid, you're a minor, you're in a possession. So freaking what? But don't do it. I'm saying it's legal now, dude. You don't have to go on the chances that I had to go 10 years ago to get this freaking HIV patient some fucking cannabis. But I told people to go about it in a legitimate and legal way. Told them all to do it that way. Wow, that's fucking terrible, man. We had to take this guy off. We had to make him.
make them age restrictive, bro. But hey, let's show people pounds of weed with Mr. THC. <laughs> that guy loves cannabis, bro. He'll freaking do anything for that. What else did I do? Talked about the discrimination that people receive in rental houses who smoke weed. Because again, you rent a house, smoke fucking an ounce a day in there. Smoke an ounce a day in that rented fucking house and see how long you live there. See how long you stay there. Especially if you live in a legal state. Especially if you live in a semi-legal state. And what? What did I do? I stopped smoking the joint as soon as I... Before it was even finished. I said, you know what? I looked at the joint. Unlike these dumb mother freakers that freaking smoked that... St that, that drank a hundred plus shots in that day instead of being idiots like them i smoked one joint i talked about something that i was very passionate about trying to educate people and inform them and give them actual factual information and what's the conclusion weed content is online weed content is online and larger creators get away with it all the time again after this video goes up I will do another video. We're at the end of the video. Screw up. We'll get demonetized. We'll watch these creators get away with it and then slap that demonetization strike on me, baby. We love that, dude. I love being demonetized, man. What else? What else will I do? Oh, YouTube does not care about small creators and punishes them for doing the same thing larger creators do. They do. Where can we see it? Look at my videos. Look what's monetized. I have a fucking bong cleaning video where I clean my bong. And what happens? What happens? No weed shown. No curse words said. Nothing. I'm, I'm saying, hey, get some alcohol. You put it in there. You put a little salt. You shake it up. And that's how you clean your bong. Tee -hee -hee -hee. And guess what? That was it. They, they strike that shit. You know what? I sent them a message. I said, hey. There's no weed in this video. There's nothing bad in this video. I'm going to send it back to YouTube and ask them why they did it. And guess what? They still slap me with that demonetization strike, man. They still hit me with it. So, guys, if you actually want to see shit change, share this shit. Like this shit. Subscribe to the fucking channel because that's the only way that we can get anybody on the right side on the right team because these guys have shown that they don't want to do shit i went 1500 miles you can see it i posted it all on live i went 1500 miles drove in a car the transmission was shitting out i drove in a car that could not fucking drive and you know what i fucking made it I fucking made it to Florida, I made it to Shell City, I got the crown, I saw Dope as Viola, and you know what I said to him? Hey, Dope as Viola, you know that they're making some crazy-ass monopolies in the weed industry in fucking Florida, dude? You know that they're doing all this shit? And you know what that fucking clown said? You know what that, that weed fucking activist wanted to say? Oh, yeah, I had no idea that was going on, bro. <laughs> you want to take a picture with me? Guys, guys, look! Guys! Holy shit, look! I got a picture with a fucking joke, dude! Look at that fucking bitch! Wow, bro! You're really helping cannabis! F fuck, where is it? Where is it? Where? Oh, oh, dope! Dope is you! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, you're really helping cannabis consumers everywhere, bro! Oh my, I'm so happy I got that picture with you, dude. Oh my god, you're really helping. You're really putting in the work for all of us cannabis consumers everywhere, dude. You're a real freaking weed hero, dude. Real weed hero historian, bro. Oh my god, 1,500 miles for that fucking... What is it, what would I call it? Scam artist? Fucking... Snake oil salesman? I don't fucking know. All the way to see his dumb fucking ass say, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing weed in Florida, dude. I'm from California, bro. <laughs> Why don't you buy my THCA line? So, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, if, if you want to pretend like you know shit about cannabis and I'm wrong, then, hey, go go right a fucking head. But I've been in the industry long enough. I've talked to enough cannabis 
workers, employees, everybody in the industry. I've worked in the industry for five years. I've smoked weed since I was 16. You know, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. You know way more, dude. And if you do, that's fucking great. But hey, there's a lot of shit that I said that's 100% true. That's 100% true. The discrimination of weed people in occupations. And not a single one of those guys, not a single fucking one, ever talked about it enjoy the fucking video i hope you like it yo what's up everybody it's hi homie and uh yeah uh, this is probably after the video where we saw those four fucking five I mean, four or five fucking idiots uh drinking for 24 hours straight i will probably add a, a shot counter to that video I, I don't know it seems like it might be a funny one to add but also Again, it takes a long time to edit the videos. I'm the only one doing it. I'm putting out three videos a week, you know, putting in the work, putting in the hustle, putting in the grind so I can make a name for myself on this platform because, again, I've been on this platform for, gosh, since I was 13 years old, and I want to show people the discriminatory practices that are happening. I mean, these things happen to cannabis users every day. Um, I'm going to warn you guys what i do in a, in a second is egregious is stupid um is way more dangerous than drinking copious amounts of alcohol all day long um to the point where youtube needs to demonetize this kind of content so no person under the age of 18 can even look it up you need to be signed into a new account to even see it um so if you guys I need to, you can look away, um, you can close your eyes for this, because again, this is this is some real fifth, filth fucking shit. Um, I'm gonna smoke this uh, 0.8, maybe one gram joint, woo, on video. Damn, guys. Um, probably 30 minutes into the video, I'm gonna light this up, so if you guys aren't ready for it, um, click off of the video now. This is, uh, this is stupid. I'm probably going to have to re-record that first initial video. Um, it, it's going to be even better because I'm going to be high while I do it. So it might even be funnier than it was. So, yeah, wish wish me luck here. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm ready for this myself. Who man. Oh, my gosh. But, again, I just want to say that I am doing this for all the medical smokers out there i'm gonna wipe off the lens real quick get, get a little get a little intimate with you here make sure you can see the whole thing but yeah i'm i'm, I'm gonna smoke it guys I'm, I'm gonna smoke it um i i hope i'm gonna be okay after it Again, I, I don't know if I will. I've already lost it. It disappeared. Oh no, maybe it's just that bad. Maybe the gremlins stole it. Oh, I found it. The gremlins didn't steal it. Um, so if you guys aren't ready, I gave you ample warning about it. I'm gonna light it up. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, guys. Again, the faint of heart, um, look away. Um, this, this, this is, a, if you're not over the age of 18 years old, even though you could watch the last 30 minutes of this video, you can't watch this bit. You can't. This is, I don't condone it, even though every state in the United States, um, not every state, but most states who have legalized it have always legalized it for medicinal use, um, because, you know, people be having seizures and shit like that and uh this helps some people have insomnia it helps some people have pain and anxiety and depression it helps them um in my eyes and what i've seen by selling weed for five years in a row um we are about ready to go into the smoke zone oh my gosh oh my gosh there's no coming back there's no coming back from this, guys. Fuck! Damn it. Damn it! I 
I'll throw my fucking life away, bro. Oh my god, I, I smoked a toke of a the joint. Oh my gosh, but I wish I could be like those guys. I wish I could be like those drinkers, bro. Oh man, if I was only just drinking for 24 hours straight. Oh man, I could have shown this to everybody, but now... I'm age-restricted on, on something that's been legalized in my state for the last eight years. Oh my gosh, please don't do what I'm doing. Um, we should, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Fuck, I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. I smoked two hits of a marijuana cigarette. Oh my gosh, now my whole life's gonna change. Holy shit, guys. Holy fuck. Oh, I did it again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I smoked. Yeah, again, I feel fine. Um, hasn't even hit me yet. I'll tell you when it does. Um, yeah. I don't know why this is so controversial. Um, I live in America, not uh, Russia or, or China. Um, so the fact that this is censored doesn't set right with me, guys. It's, it's really sad to see the discrimination against people who might need this. Like, if you're a semi-truck driver, you can't even drive if you smoke. Like, fuck, if you have seizures, nah, dude. If you have, like, depression, nah, dude, Zoloft, bro. If you have an ADHD, nah, dude, take Adderall and drive, bro. Take Just, just take the Adderall and drive, man. But if you smoke this even on your off hours, you can't get a job in an industry that you could make money in. No siree, dude. You need to be... You need to be in a prison, all right? I mean, it's sad because you can actually get passed over for a job because you smoke. Is that the same thing if you drink? Not at all. Are any other WeTubers talking about this? Not a single one. Is any WeTuber talking about the difference in price? You know, because I live in Missouri, and an eighth's going to range around 30 to 40 bucks out here on the lower scale, and 60 up on the higher scale, you know? Um, let alone get an ounce. And uh, what what do we do for the medical patients? Give them 10% off. That's the medical patient deal. You get, you get 10% off, but you have to pay for a $200 license to get it, so... Yeah, after you pay 200 bucks, then then you get 10% off. You know, I I think it's just something important to talk about for people who do um, decide that this might be a good route for them. I would say, hey, before, if you get diagnosed with a disease or, or something terminal where you might need marijuana and it might help you, um, and if your doctor has said so, um, yeah, maybe you should look into growing it yourself before you ever look about using it as a medicine, because the fact of the matter is, is if you're terminal, you're going to have a lot of money situations pop up. Um, and if you don't, that's great. I'm just talking to the people that, uh, you know, most of the people that don't make above like fifty thousand to sixty-five thousand dollars a year, um, because if you smoke marijuana, you're going to be paying about. Again, if you need it medically and you need to smoke a lot of it, and you have a high tolerance because you've been smoking for a long time, you've been using it medically for more than like three to four years. Yeah, don't, don't buy it. You're going to be spending around five to ten thousand dollars a year just on your medical needs and expenses. Um, whereas if you live in a place, let's say Michigan, um, you're going to be spending $25 an ounce, whereas you'll be spending about $1,000 to $2,000 a year on, on medicine. Um, yeah, if you're from my home state of Missouri, where I'm at right now, that's legalized it for eight years. 
Maybe just six. It was 2018. 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. Yeah, just six years. Six. Still a good amount. Um, but if you're over here, I don't recommend it. Or if you do get it, I recommend getting your med card um, and then going out of state to Oklahoma. Um, but again, you, it's illegal to cross between state lines because the companies that are regulating it want to keep their monopolies inside the state line so they can milk you for all your dry, all your worth pretty much, um, which is really weird for a medicine, you know, especially one that's connected by borders like Oklahoma and Missouri are connected to each other by a border and it's both medically and recreationally legal there. Um, as well as when you look into the laws in Missouri, uh, they have no rights for smokers. So the only way that you can smoke is if you're in your private residence. And a lot of places like apartment complexes will kick you out of your apartment just because they can say they found you smoking. Um, and that's not in your lease. Even though again, you're using a, it as a medical substance. It, it, it's very crazy. It blows my mind. I don't know why anybody would want to. I mean, they might have legalized it, but it's still so illegal and it's still so crazy and it's still so fucked. I just feel really bad for you guys. I got into marijuana because my great uncle had HIV and it helped him eat. Um, so I, you know, the guy was like 90 pounds most of the time I knew him. So, yeah, you know. It was still, I think, better to get it from the illegal sources than it was when it legalized. I mean, I never bought it for him when it was legalized, uh, but I buy it for myself now that it's legalized and the quality's a lot lower. Um, they're, they're, they're finding like studies that it can get like, even in the legal market, laced with some stupid ass shit. And I mean, it's not laced with dumb shit like fentanyl and fucking other really bad drugs. It's laced with like pesticides instead. So, hey, at least you're not doing that weird shit. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what the, the dangers of the legal market. Um, I even heard rumors of a machine that would get rid of like bud rot like if there's rot on the bud um they would just throw it through a machine to clean it up a bit and then it wouldn't have it anymore and then they could sell it to the masses don't know if that's entirely true or not again do your own research on that kind of stuff but personally as somebody who's been in the cannabis scene since i was 17 years old um and somebody who's been closely looking at the markets and what they're selling and what they're giving out um, I would honestly think about growing it yourself before getting it from any person. And as well as if you start doing that, you can even start to make some money. I mean, again, once cannabis laws lax and if they get legal for a while and, you know, if enough people get into growing, you could actually grow a, a very nice amount of plants for the allotment that you get in Missouri. Like in Missouri, you can have 36 plants. That's a lot of fucking plants, man. I mean, sure, they got to be different stages in flower, but I mean, again, one person keeping up with 12, I mean, 36 plants is, is a lot. Um, and you can get as many plants as you want. You don't have to get the 36, but I just want to tell you that that would be more than enough to be able to satiate your needs for months and months and months and still be good if you're just applying for yourself. Now, again, if you go through the right uh, channels and stuff like that and you start growing really nice, decent quality weed, um, you could definitely make some side money off of this and it wouldn't add too much to your personal workload if you're growing it for yourself. I mean, sure, you're going to have to go harder and you're going to be supplying legally, I hope, because you'd have to go through a caregiver kind of um, situation. But honestly, it could end a lot of your money issues because, again, you just find people that are done with the cannabis scene, like people like myself. I mean, there's a lot of people that don't want to buy I'm a cannabis from the dispensaries. Like, I mean, in California, I think the number is staggeringly high. Um, and they can get legitimized pretty easily there. I heard the regulations is crazy, but somebody who's just probably homegrown for themselves, I don't think so. Um, I think Missouri's got one of the best with the grow your own, but you just got to get a house. So um, this whole next year, the next four, well, the next year, I'm really hoping to get a place where I can start growing my own cannabis. But let me tell you something even shittier, bros. So like, let's say I wanted to rent a house, okay? Th 
but at the same time, I need medicine. I need this medicine so I can grow it, so I can not have, you know, chronic pain. I can not have migraines. Um, I mean, there's, everybody works differently, but I'm telling you why weed was considered legalized in my states and Colorado, which I, you know, lived at. I mean, if you're dealing with insomnia and like just a bunch of that kind of stuff, like I can't grow it if I rent a place, even though I need this for my medicinal need and what the dispensaries are selling it for are so um, unimaginably expensive and so low tier too for the patients that, you know, Sorry, I'm fucking lost on a... I'm starting to feel it. The high is pretty solid, but again, it's old weed and I haven't really smoked weed in weeks and weeks because... Let me be real with you guys. I promise to stop fucking giving into, you know, industries that I can't morally agree with. And when I, as a medical patient, are thinking about, like, somebody like my great uncle who had fucking HIV and just needed to eat some food and, you know, get get hungry like he should he was 90 pounds for years and years um but they can't even grow in that because they need to own their house so you know again i'm just really trying to get my house so i can be able to grow a medical plant that i need and that would probably help me in the long run and as well as i could learn a lot about it like i've been in the marijuana industry just selling it like i want i crave and I need a place so I can grow even more into the industry that I've given already five to, I mean, again, smoking it, I've smoked for more than 10 years or maybe just 10 years. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> um, but for somebody who I've used it and I know what it does with me and I've used it medically because I've always respected the plant because at first I was getting it from my great, my great uncle so he wouldn't just be fucking dying you know so that's why i honestly don't buy weed from the dispensaries and uh want to start going to at least oklahoma because you know i don't exactly have to agree with it but i i before i can get into it like when i started the marijuana industry in colorado i said to myself if there's at least not one $20 eighth on the rack, on the shelf that somebody can get, I will not work there. Fuck, I was doing so good, but when I moved back to Missouri, I started to not give a fuck because I just needed a job so I could work. And I was like, yo, I'll work at this place called fucking Floor Farms. At least they're one of the cheaper ones, but at the same time, their cheapest eighths was $30. And the tax over there was like 15%. So it'd be like 35, you know, $40 for like 3.5 grams of weed. I mean, I'm so happy that I can keep this as a video diary to show people how bad it was um, because I only, I, I know the cannabis industry and I know it's just gonna get better because it has to get better because there's no way they can do that. I mean, maybe you'll get like high echelon shit that will cost 60 bucks an eighth, but I'm talking about really shit that shouldn't be, that would never win a worldwide cannabis contest. Like that wouldn't even place. Um, and they're charging $35 for an eighth of cannabis when they have an 100,000 square foot grow facility with 88,000 canopy, like canopy space. It, it's so stupid. And that's why it just hurts me when people like this guy who wanted to comment on two things he didn't know about cannabis legalization and YouTube monetization rules and regulations and stuff like that. It really blew my mind because again, dude didn't know, but he was like, I wouldn't show your vids. Like these vids are fucking terrible. Why are they monetized? And I was like, well, actually the only thing that's demonetized in the vids that I'm talking about is cannabis. You can have, again, as much alcohol, just like this video that I showed you. Again, I'm gonna have to redo it again. It was a 20 minute video, but I wanna make sure it's right because I'll spend a hundred hours on a fucking video. I don't because I know I got to get them out at a good time, but I would spend a hundred hours on just one video if I could, if I knew that I could get it through to the people that I needed to get it through to. Because, you know, that's why I keep this. This is like my video diary. This is an injustice and 
something crazy that's going on in the world right now that nobody's talking about. And I can just keep this on, on file whenever I want. I'm probably gonna try to save this onto a bigger terabyte so nobody can even take the videos. I, I don't even save the vids because again, I just, I don't have the money. I've been trying to get a job, but again, when you smoke cannabis and when you make cannabis content like myself, it, it it's so hard to get a job because nobody's taking you seriously, but you're the only guy in the room making fucking any kind of sense because again you go to michigan and you can get a whole oz for 25 dollars and an oz is an ounce if you don't know what way to weed means and you can you can purchase a whole i mean again it's an ounce of shake but you can't find that kind of shit here unless you got your nose to the fucking ground unless you're willing, willing to drive a shit ton of miles unless you're willing to do all this kind of like extra ass shit that you really shouldn't have to do it's like what the fuck you know which is terrible to somebody who smoke. I'm already high, I could get higher, but I'll have the feeling all day. This weed's really shitty, guys. Again, I'm broke as fuck, because I'm trying to talk about shit that people really don't know about too much yet. But from what I've learned from my whole time of smoking is, um, it's a plant, it's just like any other plant. You kind of treat it like a plant. If you do that, you'll be able to grow it but a lot of places won't allow you to grow it because they they want to have access to your medicine, which is kind of fucked because again, it's legal. It's legalized, you can have plants, you can grow plants. They're recognizing it as a, as a medical need for people. And it's a complete classist system where you even have to own property because growing this in, indoors is actually far better. I'm, I'm sorry if I make some people upset who grow outdoors, but in my opinion, unless, I don't know, indoor weed just always hit better because you can control a lot of different variables. And I mean, it's not hard, I, I mean, it's hard. It's gonna take a while, I can't wait to start where I make plants, but again, it's a very classist law. You have to own a house, I can't rent a place and say, hey, I'm gonna start growing weed in your freaking basement, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Again, I can't even do that kind of shit. Or I have to lie and say I do, which is, again, illegal, which I want to do it legally. And it blows my mind that it's that hard to do it legally when they have so many people doing it. It's like, it shouldn't be that hard. Because that will actually help the economy. And that's, that's a, an issue that we're dealing with right now. The economy is freaking crazy and people don't have spending power like they used to. You know what would give people spending power? People who actually cared about the cannabis plant, growing the cannabis plant, growing it and giving it to people who need the cannabis plant and need good quality cannabis too. And only 150 stores are legal and I can think they have a micro license, but hey, I I don't put my fucking nose to the ground in the cannabis industry in Missouri. They have fucked so many people over and what this cannabis, like I hate to read sad stories, but I'm gonna say a prediction. I could be wrong and I hope I am. I really do hope I'm wrong. But each and every license, if it's legit and there are people that are just trying, or most of them, it'll be like, the, the failure rate will be so high because already the failure businesses are very high. And um, yeah, the failure rate, if they do it like they're doing it and they're saying it, it's the cannabis, the micro license cannabis license in Missouri is gonna be one of the biggest jokes in the cannabis industry. Like it's just gonna, it, it's gonna have a huge failure rate because again, I may, you know, I haven't been able to grow at the scales, but for some reason, me knowing that micro business licensed people grow around like 250 plants, whereas the people that are going to have like, you know, the already established one, the, the, the business one that they got when they got it, when it legalized, can have like up to 7,000 something plants. I don't, maybe more, maybe less, you know, take, give or take a thousand. Um, it's just like, wow, you guys are really setting the little guys up for a lot of failure. And this is, this is wild to know. That's one of the crazy, and I feel for those people cause I'm gonna say it and I'm sorry I had to say it that way, but it's just, 
maybe you can go up in a license. Maybe you can join favor for the state or something like that. But I don't know. I, I haven't really looked that into the license. I mean, knowing how the license legalized right now, I'm going to get ready to end the vid. Um, knowing how the license is right now, it's like, again, I don't even know where I was going. I'm still kind of high. Good thing I put that thing out. I may, may have not made any more sense. But I just can't set by while I see something that I kind of know something about and see it bastardized by these really weird corporations and companies that are just trying to make the most amount of money. They want it. They want to make it hard for you. That's why the laws are the way it is. Because again, it's only private property. You can't smoke it. You know, if you're a homeless man who needs weed, <laughs> that's funny, dude. Why don't you buy edibles? Maybe they need wax. You know, wax is insane. I love like rosin, hash rosin, stuff like that. And uh, that's again, going to be more expensive typically, but usually when you go up in that kind of quality, it's worth the expense. And yeah, there's a lot of cool hash people out there. I mean, the only people that are really bumming me out are some of the big names out there because why aren't they talking about this? Why are they trying to bring this shit to light? What's going on? Like the fuck? And I've reached out to a lot of them and I, there's still more that I need to reach out to, but they could reach out to me. Like I make videos about the topic and I'm, I always say that I'm pissed that fucking companies and corporations don't try to like help young influencers in the space. It's, it's all a fucking free for all. And that's why there's barely any in Missouri. Um, there's some in California, um, Again, some of them have different areas, Colorado, but it's, it's really hard to want to do and continue to do, um, in Missouri, if it's just so like beat down on, like I've reached out, like there's companies that I have reached out to, I have talked to. I have talked about, but again, who's going to want to work with somebody who just says that they don't agree with the cannabis industry in Missouri. And that's what I say, because again, I, I know what it looks like. I, I'm not going to fucking look at them and say, hell yeah, dude, let me rip off your people more. Fuck that, bro. I'm not, that's why I don't want to work in that kind of space. And it blows my mind because people getting into the cannabis industry really need to freaking know this. Like, don't get out of it, bro. Get out of it. <laughs> You'll do better without it. Don't let them win. That's lame shit. And that's what people need to do. And that's what they do to the good ones anyway. They only want the, I mean, I, I know, I, I don't hate people who don't know anything about cannabis. It's the people that aren't trying to learn about the thing that they're trying to sell or be or do. Because again, Another cannabis company that I talked to, one of the recruiters was like, oh, these guys are really picky on who they choose to sell their weed. And I said, hey, I have one question. What do you think about the only question I asked this person in my interview was, how do you feel about medical patients receiving <laughs> cannabis that is lower quality for like 10 to 30 times the fucking price. I, I, I might be over exaggerating guys. And if I am, I'm sorry. I don't, but do I care what these places think about me? No, because they do this because they know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. It's easy to see. And I'm just somebody who won't, I'm not going to work for something I don't agree with. I'll figure out how to make my own cannabis. I will get the 36 plants and then at least I'll never give a nickel. I won't sell it. I'll never give a nickel to fucking any cannabis shop ever again because I'll buy a hash fucking press, I'll learn how to fucking sift, and I'll fucking make my own hash raws and if I have to because, again, then I can make carts, then I can make all that kind of stuff, and I will acquire the right licensings for it and everything, and that's what I'm trying to say. That's what the channel's always been about. It's trying to teach people about cannabis and how what's going on in cannabis isn't cool and you can get out of the cannabis fucking grind, dude. Like, but you got to figure out 
again, first, A, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to fucking get a job so I can afford a fucking place to live at. And, you know, it, it's been difficult, especially making videos on the industry that I put my whole heart into. And I was like, this is what I'm doing. And now I have to say, you know, now I can do it as a hobby. You know, now I can do it more for myself because I'll never want to buy cannabis. And I'll even stop smoking cannabis for the majority just so I can get the house that I fucking need um, so I can start growing it myself or, you know, trying it from Oklahoma if I make shit weed for a while and being able to do both. And I don't have to spend that much money on weed because if I can go without, then I can go without and just use my shit, you know? So, and any state. I mean, again, you can go any state and get cannabis, but you can't bring it back. That's a bad idea. Don't do that. Can't wait till they make teleporters. But. Yeah, fucking. Don't fuck it. Fucking if you're getting into the cannabis industry, if you need to know anything about the cannabis industry, if you want to hear what somebody's saying, who's saying. Hey, bro, um, something weird's going on here. I've worked in different places, and uh, what I'm seeing going on ain't right. It's uh, monopolies. And, uh, and, and allegedly, I'll say allegedly on it. It's just monopolies, bro. And they control it by controlling you, dude. And it's crazy because I want to, I think I should have the right to be able to grow the medicine that grows naturally from the ground if it's like a plant. <laughs> you know, like it's supposed to be taken like a plant. Why can't I grow it organically and know what I'm growing? Because I've been fucked and we can see different things in papers and we can look at a simple Google search and we can find things that are going on in, in medical and corporate grade cannabis. So I just recommend nobody goes into it because again, there there's bad actors in it and there's going to be bad actors in everything. But do you really want to get hit by a bad actor? Because it just, it's wrapped up in a bow and they say it's safe because it's from the state. I mean, there's still a lot of things the state does. There's a lot of things the state puts in our food and shit. Like, yeah, just get it. If you can grow it, if you are trying, if you're trying to get in the industry, if you need that push to like say, fuck corporate cannabis, like, Hey, I'm happy that I could be that push. So I'm happy about the 500 subs but at the same time, most of the subs come from shorts and they don't really know about the cannabis shit I do, I don't think. Which I'm completely okay with because I'm okay with kind of gaming the algorithm so I can get more subscribers because, again, this has always been a satire channel. Because, again, I'm just satirical motherfucker, I guess. Um, and one of the ways that I can be satirical is try to grow my subs by doing the, the trends that are the most stupid and brain rot. I mean, again, I think they're funny, but I'm pretty much done with most people. I mean, I've been trying to get this out to cannabis users, and it's so hard when you're trying to talk to a cannabis like person who smokes cannabis, and you look at him and, I, and, and you literally ask him, hey, bro, how do you feel? about this thing that's clearly going on in the industry around you. Cause I was like in Missouri and Florida and I've just told them, I told, I mean, again, dope is Yola doesn't have to need to know what's going around. Not just in California. Again, if he wants to be a California stoner, live in California and ignore the States like Missouri, you know, fucking Chicago, I heard was pretty bad. Florida I hear is pretty mid. You know, there's a bunch of states with a lot of mid, I hear. But it's, it's sad when he looks and I'm like, so I could buy a $25 ounce in Michigan. But that $25 ounce is going to be how much in fucking... <laughs> how much in fucking uh, Missouri, you know? And how readily available will it be in Missouri? And he just looks at you like... I don't know that was going on. Never anything, nothing else about it, too. I need it. I'll, I'll try to email him again. I'll, I'll throw out the fucking email after I put out this video. I'll say, dope is Yola. What's up? I'm the guy who told you that I'm sick about the fucking cannabis industry because it's fucking shit. 
Um, it makes no sense that you can buy a $25 ounce in fucking Michigan, but that ounce is going to cost $300 in Missouri. Someone needs to fucking spearhead this. Um, I will if you fucking won't. And yeah, this video will go out just to tell people, yeah, I'll be that guy if he doesn't want to be. And I'll happily be that guy because when I looked at my great uncle and I was getting him food when he was so sick and the thing that was helping him a lot was just cannabis. And now it's again, getting looked at as some fun designer recreational. Ooh, let's, let's hit up the cannabis. Like it's some kind of stupid fucking alcohol brand. But at the same time, it can't be advertised to anybody who's not 18 or older. Sorry, there's so many just stupid shit about it that makes me never want to support the cannabis industry. I mean, that's the, the legit cause of it. I mean, you can get $25 ounce in fucking Michigan. And again, it might be a little bit different. Give or take 10, 20 bucks and give or take the quality too. Um... And I think if you should, if you're medicated, you should be able to have the right to have the best kind of medicine, but you're not seeing the same thing go on. And again, you, if, if that doesn't happen, then, Hey, at least you can grow it yourself. So you know that at least you can't fuck that up and people can, but this is something I cared about. This is something I've nothing but studied. So I just want to get into it, own my place, make my plants. And just get out of the fucking stupid ass industry. Even if I have to leave the industry for it. Because I just need a fucking job that will pay money. And then I can like just grow cannabis plants on the side. That's, that's how fucking easy it needs to be. And I will. I mean, now after this, I'm just more um, motivated to find a higher paying job that will just pay me directly to fucking just work you know like just to be able to get a house because even if it's the shittiest little fucking place i just need to put fucking grow tits in and i'll get out of there <laughs> i'll get out of there as soon as i fucking can i'll say that <laughs> growing 36 fucking plants in missouri that's so fucking stupid i mean at least i could make some baller fucking videos so yeah, I just need to find something where I can get the salary, a lot of it. I mean, if you guys can think of any job, because I'll fucking work it, bro. I just need a fucking plant, dude. I need to be able to grow one of them fucking plants. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd love to be like a teacher of growing plants. Wouldn't that be cool if there's a job where you could just be like, hey, yo, this is how you grow your weed, bro. And like go into a classroom and I'd just be like, this we'll we'll have our own plants that we study with um if you want to add a wacky thing that we do to it to see if it will increase or something different will happen like <laughs> fuck yeah bro fuck yeah but again degrees systems want to say they want to teach you on that shit um would be dope if i could just there needs to be more loans too like this this stuff there needs to be an actual way that you can open up a cannabis business on like fucking zero funds because i mean again or a little bit of funds like i could you could make a cannabis business and it could be fucking extremely successful if you fucking care about what you're doing so yeah that's why i'm fucking out of corporate fucking canvas bro fucking if they want to fucking hire me they fucking can but if they want to fucking eat them and fucking weep as i say I fucking will, because I'll grow some fucking immaculate-ass cannabis. Never buy from them fucking once. Be able to show all you fucking guys what cannabis looks like, is, smells, fucks. Um, then I fucking will. And again, if I suck at it, I'll get a lot of haters in the comments that I'll learn from. <laughs> I'll get a ton of fucking haters. They'll be like, yo, that's mid as fuck. You need to do this. And I'll say, thank you actual criticism that i care about instead of this fucking guy who has no idea what the monetization guidelines are and what the fuck yeah, like he was like bro i wouldn't want to monetize your videos too if you did drinking smoking and fucking this and i'm like no nah, all those are monetized bro some of those are the fucking get pushed to so many people it's fucking crazy and that's what the satire of my channel is because i'm like this how they fucking legalize weed is satire, bro. That's a funny fucking farce right there. Some weird ass fucking shit. 
Um, look how many states have it legalized. It's it's an insane amount. So they just need to get their fucking heads out of their asses, whatever the fucking... Again, <sighs> I thought democracy was like a 50 and 1%, you know? <laughs> I don't feel like democracy on this shit. This feels fucking weird. Let me grow it, dude. If everybody else can grow it, if, if wealthy people can grow it as much as they want, you shouldn't make a classist law like that. That's classist to the nth degree, bro. Fucking what? Did the, the fucking Nazis really win? I don't fucking know. I hate the Nazis. Fuck the Nazis. But it seems like it's a different kind of Nazism when it's just privatization, you know? It's crazy because, again, I can buy a $25 ounce. Michigan. Shit's going to cost me around 150 to 300 out here. What's the fucking difference? What's the difference between Oklahoma and Missouri? Missouri? What's the difference between Missouri and Colorado? Can you tell me that? Because I know a lot of differences. And to me, those differences would make it cheaper to grow weed. But hey, bro, I'm just a guy chilling here, smoking weed sometimes and trying to get the fuck off of it most of the times because holy shit, I just want to grow it. And I will grow it. And I can't fucking wait to show my first fucking yields. I can't wait to show my 50th. I can't wait to show my 100th yield of fucking weed. I cannot fucking wait. Because it's going to be fucking some fired fucking dank ass bomb ass, bro. Love everybody I've met in the cannabis industry, though. The people fucking who sell you the, the fucking weed. The people who fucking roll it the fuck up. The people who fucking grow it. The people who fucking turn it into wax. Every single person's a cool motherfucker. But the industry is just fucking a lot of them. And I don't know why they're they're okay with it. It blows my mind how they're okay with it. But again, hopefully their paychecks... <laughs> like hopefully their paychecks uh, show it. But I don't know. I don't think so. Because they're making how much money a fucking year off of it? Wow, bro. This is weird, bro. But hey, I'm going to... I'm going to do this video is probably already long enough and I got to fucking re-record the fucking other video I had. Oh my gosh, there's so much shit I got to do. But thank you guys for watching. This is going to be put at the end of the video so I can see if I can sneak my monetization in. But again, there'll be a video that's going to be completely monetized where I don't have the egregious section where I smoked a little bit of that joint, probably 0.7 percent grams of weed and then put it out halfway because i was already high enough you know a good thing most people who did the drinking videos that you saw today said that not enough was enough and they need to keep going but in this video you will see that i actually had put the joint out before it was finished and just was content with the high that i got and that's how I want to say how crazy the um, fucking <laughs> monetization system is on YouTube. Well, well, I'll end you with that one because it's crazy because these guys kept saying, go, 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 <laughs> some, some shit like that. All I did was got high and talked about something I was deeply passionate about, which is the cannabis industry and that I love, which is the cannabis industry. Um, the real one that I know, not the ones that they made six or seven years ago or 10 or 15. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't, I don't give a fuck where you live in the States, bro. It's weed, bro. We can make it fucking so amazing. We can make it so fucking spectacular and we are getting fucking kept from it for some reason. So that's why I'm not buying cannabis in Missouri anymore. That's why I'm really going to go to Oklahoma. Hey, I'm saying this for the billionth time. Anybody in cannabis in Missouri, like any any business, anything like that, if you're doing your research, anything like that, you can reach out. This email, I've put in a lot of videos, man. Um, and it's great that, again, it's, I mean, again, the monetization of my videos don't get that big, so I could see why you wouldn't be able to see it. But... <laughs> I think you should be researching on the industry and don't, we can't fucking lie. Social media is one of the biggest platforms for like marketing and advertisation and shit like that to specific things like that. Like there's a whole video on getting drunk. There's multiple videos on like what the best alcohol tier list is. All of those are monetized. But when I did that, 
when I put that joint out and said, hey, sometimes enough's enough. That's where I get demonetized. And I'll keep making the satire content because if it gets one person, if it gets any single person in this world, then fuck fucking yeah. <laughs> Sorry I cussed YouTube, but uh, I try not to cuss because YouTube doesn't let me that much too. So I got, it's like a, it's a hard way around it. I mean, these guys cussed and drank and did all this stupid ass shit, went to places in public and all this shit. I, I just stayed in my car. Hey, I had enough to smoke. Let me put that out. And then talked about some crazy ass weed conspiracies, if you want to call them. I said it in such a jumbled fucking mess. Maybe I need to make a weed conspiracy video in mine, in my eyes, I guess. I, I don't fucking know. I hope you guys got something from this video. Hopefully it's in frame. I tried to make it a little bit. I'm not looking. Sometimes I'll have the video. I'm doing this all with my iPhone. I want to see if I can do it with my iPhone for some fuck. I have a GoPro too. I sometimes use it. I might use it. I got some good ideas with it, but I just got to, <laughs> I just got to get some of that. I got to get some cash first. I need to get a job. Again, it's been hard to get a job with my digital footprint. <laughs> but, ah, you know, you just don't tell them. <laughs> just don't tell them. I'm not high homie. Who the fuck's high homie, bro? That guy's fucking, that guy hates cannabis. <laughs> I'll fucking know. I doubt I work at cannabis. Fuck those guys. Fuck those guys so hard. But everybody who works in it, like, that's kind of cool. You're dope. I fucking love you. But we all know what's going on. Let's not <laughs> let's not pretend we don't know. Uh, because I've talked to a lot of cannabis fucking pay uh, can cannabis fucking consumers. Talked to a lot of people in the industries. I know a lot of people in the industry. You know, now I just got to go and I'm going to learn more, even more people in the industry. Can't fucking wait. Maybe they'll want good and accessible weed to sick medical patients. I hope, you know, you can only hope. So let's help good people. Let's support good people. Um, I'll leave you with, uh, I love you guys for 500 subs. Fucking still great. Still amazing. You're the fucking best. 500, you guys. I don't know how many of you guys are from my videos. But, you know, the ones that fucking watch, like, I fucking see you, dude. I fucking see each and every one of you guys. And if you guys want to leave a comment, tell me this video fucking touched you. Now keep fucking, make one more video, Jared. Keep doing it. Keep going. Or, hey, buddy, go fuck yourself. Stop making videos. Um, I'll ignore that one, of course. And I will also refer you to this email. But again, if you're a cannabis company, I do check this email. Like, I've sent it videos right there, bro. If anybody in Missouri wants to say it, but I will say it's sponsored and I'll say what I think about and I'll always include price in my fucking comparisons because even in food, like, you'll see food reviews that compare the price. This is how much money here. This is how much money here. Um, so, you, you can't even do that. That's just crazy. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that out of state med card shit and bring some fucking. Again, I want to bring medical weed. So if you grow medical weed, hey, guess what? I'm going to get my med card. Hey, you want to be my caregiver? I don't know how the caregiver shit works yet. Maybe I have to stay with somebody. Maybe I have to do something else. But hey, I'll find that. Um, or I can do that shit. Or hey, you know, I think you can give weed out as a gift. Um, so there's, there's an avenue as well. But, you know, I'm going to Oklahoma. Like, I'm going to try to... The car's fucked. I got to figure out a way to get there and back. But I'll smoke a fucking one here. I'll show you the quality of it. And I'll fucking show that. And I'll go to Colorado sometimes. I can't wait to hang out with my fucking homies at Mighty Tree. They're fucking dope as shit, bro. Just some fucking homies that are trying to sell fucking weed. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they're fucking great as fuck. Fucking love those guys. Or just the homies that I met from Mighty Tree. Because, again, that staff was fucking amazing. I fucking love those homies. Yeah, I can't wait for the next four or five months. It's going to be stupid. It's going to be fucking ridiculous, bro. 
You know, we got to get the job that gets us the house, that gets us the weed. And we're not going to smoke that much weed, I guess. I guess Nick. Oh, I hate fucking nicotine so much. Maybe alcohol. I think I could do it more myself if I just did alcohol. <laughs> You'll see me just like these dudes. I'll leave 24 hours straight with fucking alcohol. <laughs> just drink it like water. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I was getting kind of thirsty. I fucking put a little shot of alcohol in a fucking gallon thing of water. I call it my... <laughs> I'll just drink it normally as fuck. I'll be like, yeah, we went fucking crazy, bro. We'll have a video like that. If this video could get 200 likes, I mean, I'm probably going to do it anyway, but come on, guys, let's have a goal. I have never had a video reach 200 fucking likes. And I'm going to put this on like two videos out of the three that I make because, again, I have to upload the first two the one where it's just the drinking content. And then I got to upload this one where it's the drinking content and it's the fucking weed content. And then I'm just going to add this one straight up because I think people should know this if they're joining the cannabis industry in any state. In any state, they should know all of this crazy ass shit. And it just, again, if you don't believe me, hey, get, get your fucking Google ass on fucking Google, dude. They fucking on the conspiracy theories, this fucking shitty dude. I don't know. He, he kind of makes good content, but I don't really care about most people in the space because, yeah, never meet your heroes, bro. I care less about a lot of the YouTubers now. If you want to reach out, hey, bro, be the fucking change. Maybe I don't fucking talk to you. This is a 50-50 one. You're just like my hate commenters. I'm going to get my shit out because... It's kind of sussy to me that nobody's talking about it. It is kind of sussy. So, yeah, it's funny though. It's funny. I mean, they can keep not talking about it. I'll I'll fucking talk about it. And guess what? If I got a fucking hour shine on my fucking will again, I I never wanted my legacy just to be YouTube. That's not what I fucking want at all, bro. I want to make some of the dankest fucking weed and be able to charge sixty dollars an eighth, and people be like, yeah, this is actually worth it. And I'm pissed at him because of it. <laughs> but I think I would always have kind of cheaper shit. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I hope I don't turn into that. I hope I'd be able to grow. Again, if I could get the plants like them, I could be fucking growing so much different tiers. That just would be easy. I mean, if we just had people cared about the cannabis, we could do pretty much anything. But will we? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know at all. It, it's abysmal where I'm at, where I see the cannabis industry right now, which is unfortunate. Um, so again, if this fucking resonated with you guys, please, please, let's try to hit this shit. If I could monetize this video or monetize my channel somehow, that'd be fucking dope. I'm just a man who's trying to smoke a plant to feel better, but at the same time, at least it's just depression and anxiety. You know, those are very inwardly. At least I'm not terminally ill. Um, if I was terminally ill, that'd be fucking terrible. Or at least I don't have seizure. Um, yeah, seizures, that's a fucking huge one. Or fucking migraines. Migraines would suck too. Like if I had to fucking smoke weed for migraines. I used to have migraines as a child, but I stopped having them, which is amazing. Um, but smoking weed did help. Smoking, smoking weed did help. And when I get a headache, if I smoke weed, I usually feel a little bit better. And with terminal patients, I'll 100% say that because it does have a pain reducing side effect, which is like, I don't think anybody can argue that. Um, maybe it won't feel the same for some people, but hey, we're all different. That's how medicine works. <laughs> but yeah, peace out, guys. I love you. Sorry, I'm, I say so much because I just see so much and I want to change it. And with one like, one subscribe, one comment, we get there. We will, and it's going to be insane when we do. You guys are the fucking goats. Love you guys. You guys are homies. Peace. <laughs> hey, hope that I get a job, because again, even my haters say that. I'm just trying to get a job here. <laughs>